Hi everyone, it's True Crime Stories. Today, we'll be delving into the harrowing and heartbreaking story of the Candy Family Massacre. Imagine the absolute terror a boy would have experienced after waking up in the morning and emerging from his room, only to find his entire family lying in a pool of their own blood. Everyone except him, his father, mother, and three older brothers had been brutally murdered. The Candy family appeared to be the quintessential all-American family next door. Jonathan and his wife, along with their four sons, lived in a quiet cul-de-sac in Yukon, Oklahoma. In a 2022 interview, the couple was described as a young, vibrant, and happy family, with Jonathan often helping out his neighbors and the family being well-liked in the community. However, the darkest part of this tragedy is not the fact that they were all murdered, but rather the identity of the perpetrator. It was not a dangerous intruder or a random act of violence, but Jonathan Candy himself, the very man who was supposed to love, protect, and care for his wife and children. The man his family looked up to for safety was the one who took their lives. Neighbors were left in utter shock, unable to comprehend how the seemingly devoted family man could have committed such a heinous act. Him and his kids seemed like they always got along. He just was a family man. I mean, I never expected this. We were just in total shock, recounted one neighbor. Jonathan Candy, a 42-year-old part-time employee at the local Paycom Center, was the one who shattered the peace and security of his own household. The details of this case are truly twisted and heartbreaking, leaving the community and the nation at large questioning the safety and trust within their own families. As we delve deeper into this tragic story, we are forced to confront the harsh reality that the people we love the most may not always be who they appear to be. The Candy Family Massacre serves as a sobering reminder that even the most idyllic-seeming families can harbor dark secrets and unimaginable horrors. This is a story that will leave a lasting impact, challenging us to be more vigilant and to cherish the precious moments we have with our loved ones, for we never know when they may be taken away. Jonathan Candy had been spending time working on the recent NBA games. As the home game for the Oklahoma City Thunder approached, the community was excited to see the trophy come home. Despite his part-time status, Jonathan's jokes and laughter always brought life to the arena. Jonathan and his wife, Lindsay Terry, had been happily married for years. They met in high school, where Lindsay was a member of the choir, and Jonathan was the funny, goofy guy who loved to make everyone laugh. Their marriage, seemed to be going smoothly, and they were the picture of an all-American family with four sons who appeared to be happy and well-adjusted. However, on the morning of April 22nd, 2024, a nightmare unfolded. The youngest son, whose name has been withheld for privacy, woke up expecting a normal day. Instead, he stepped out of his room to find his entire family lying in a pool of blood. The boy immediately called 911, and when the police arrived, they were met with a horrific scene. Lindsay Candy, 39 years old, had been shot and killed, along with her three sons, 18-year-old Dylan, 14-year-old Ethan, and 12-year-old Lucas. The suspected killer, 42-year-old Jonathan Candy was also found dead from a self-inflicted gunshot wound. Neighbors were left in complete shock, unable to comprehend how the seemingly devoted family man could have committed such a heinous act. There were no signs of a struggle at the crime scene, adding to the confusion and horror of the situation. The investigation revealed that Jonathan Candy had systematically hunted down and killed his wife and three older sons, sparing only the youngest child. This twist in the tragedy has left the community and the nation at large, grappling 
with the unimaginable. The very person who was supposed to protect and love his family was the one who took their lives. As the details of this case continue to unfold, we are forced to confront the harsh reality that even the most idyllic seeming families can harbor dark secrets and unimaginable horrors. The Candy Family Massacre serves as a sobering reminder that the people we love the most may not always be who they appear to be, and that we must remain vigilant in cherishing and protecting our loved ones. This tragic story will undoubtedly leave a lasting impact, challenging us to be more attentive to the well-being of our families and communities, and to never take the precious moments we have with our loved ones for granted. The Unanswered Questions Surrounding the Candy Family Tragedy The tragic case of the Candy Family Massacre has left the community and investigators grappling with numerous unanswered questions. The intention behind the killings appears to have been a murder-suicide, yet the fact that the youngest son was spared has added to the mystery and confusion surrounding this horrific event. Typically, in cases of murder-suicide, the perpetrator ends up taking their own life after killing their victims. However, the decision of Jonathan Candy to spare his youngest child has raised several perplexing questions. Did he have a change of heart at the last minute? Did he have a special relationship with this particular child that made him unable to harm him? Unfortunately, these questions may never be fully answered, as the sole survivor of the tragedy is the 10-year-old boy, and the relatives of the Candy family have decided to leave him out of any further investigations, recognizing the immense trauma he has already endured. Dr. Joni Johnston, a clinical and forensic psychologist involved in the case, expressed her shock at the scenario, stating that she had never witnessed a situation where a parent murdered some of their children, but left one child alive. This unusual aspect of the case has only added to the overall sense of mystery and disbelief surrounding the Candy Family Massacre. Investigators are exploring various possible motives for the killings, including the potential for financial crises or undiagnosed mental health challenges that Jonathan Candy may have been grappling with. The lack of any prior signs of domestic violence or other warning signs has further complicated the efforts to understand the underlying factors that led to this tragedy. One possibility that has been considered is that an altercation between Jonathan and his wife, Lindsay, may have escalated to the point where Jonathan lost control and killed her in a fit of rage. He may have then felt overwhelmed by the gravity of his actions and decided to take his own life while sparing the youngest child. Perhaps out of a lingering sense of love or an inability to bring himself to harm that particular child. The case of the Candy Family Massacre serves as a sobering reminder that even the most seemingly idyllic families can harbor deep-seated issues and unimaginable darkness. It highlights the importance of addressing mental health challenges, fostering open communication within families and being vigilant for any signs of distress or potential violence. As the investigation continues, the community and the nation at large will be left to grapple with the haunting questions surrounding this tragedy, hoping that some semblance of understanding or closure can be found, even if the full truth may forever remain elusive. Long-lasting psychological trauma for the sole survivor of the Candy Family tragedy. As the investigation into the Candy Family massacre continues, the focus has shifted to the immense burden placed on the shoulders of the sole survivor. This young boy, who was spared by his own father, Jonathan Candy, now faces a future without his immediate family. No parents, no siblings, just the haunting memories of that fateful day. Cami Cruz, a childhood friend of Lindsay Candy, shared poignant memories of the girl's carefree days, 
when they would hide in a treehouse and fall asleep, only to be found by their worried parents. These stories serve as a stark contrast to the tragedy that has now befallen the Candy family, highlighting the innocence and joy that has been so cruelly snatched away. The details that have emerged about the Candy children paint a picture of a vibrant, talented, and beloved family. Dylan, the eldest son, was described as a social and passionate young man with a talent for drumming and a big heart that endeared him to his peers. Ethan, the second son, was an active and committed baseball player known for his infectious energy and spirit. And the youngest, Lucas, was remembered as a bright and joyful child, full of life and eager to make new friends. Now, the survivor must grapple with the unimaginable reality that his entire family has been taken from him. This is a burden too heavy for any child to bear, and the community has rallied to provide the necessary emotional and psychological support to help him navigate this difficult path. Social workers have been assigned to work closely with the extended family members who have taken the child into their care. A GoFundMe campaign has been set up to assist with his upkeep, education and future needs as the community recognises the immense challenges he will face in the years to come. The road ahead will be long and difficult, but with the compassion and support of those around him, there is hope that he can find a way to heal and rebuild his life, even in the face of such overwhelming tragedy. The outpouring of community support for the sole survivor of the Candy Family tragedy. As the investigation into the devastating Candy Family massacre continues, the community has rallied around the sole survivor, offering an outpouring of support and compassion during these unimaginably painful times. The local news station, KFOX, reported that the Candy family's statement expressed their profound confusion and devastation, acknowledging that they have so many questions that may never be answered. This sentiment is echoed by the family's neighbours, who are struggling to come to terms with the tragic loss of their kind and beloved community members. Michael Burham, a 68-year-old neighbour, shared his disbelief, saying, it's hard for me to believe that my neighbours are no more, and I already miss them. Another neighbour, Brian Graham, spoke of Jonathan Candy's helpfulness and handy nature around the neighbourhood, further highlighting the stark contrast between the man they knew and the horrific actions he ultimately committed. This outpouring of support from the community underscores the deep impact the Candy family had on those around them. The image of a kind, sweet and happy family has made the tragedy even harder to comprehend, leaving investigators struggling to uncover the motive behind Jonathan Candy's drastic actions. Despite the lack of previous indications of mental health issues, authorities are using this incident as an opportunity to emphasize the importance of seeking help for any mental health challenges. They recognize the need to break down the stigma surrounding mental health and encourage individuals to prioritize their well-being, as this could potentially prevent such devastating outcomes in the future. As the community continues to grapple with the aftermath of this tragedy, the focus remains on providing the survivor with the necessary emotional and psychological support to help him navigate this unimaginable reality. The outpouring of compassion and the commitment to ensuring his well-being is a testament to the resilience and empathy of the community who are determined to help this young boy find a path forward, even in the face of such overwhelming loss. Authorities have taken proactive steps to offer support groups and counseling services to those struggling to process the news and cope with their emotions. This is a crucial step in ensuring that the community can come together to heal and provide the necessary care and support for the sole survivor, who now faces 
an unimaginable future without his immediate family. As we move forward, it is essential that we learn from this tragedy and strive to be more compassionate and attentive to the well-being of those around us. By taking the time to connect with our family and friends and being mindful of the struggles that others may be facing, even if they appear to be happy and all right on the outside, we can work towards creating a more empathetic and supportive society. The Candy family will forever be remembered for the joy and love they brought to their community. While their lives were tragically cut short, the outpouring of support and the commitment to ensuring the sole survivor's well-being is a testament to the resilience and compassion of the people they touched. As we move forward, let us honor their memory by striving to be more attentive, compassionate, and proactive in addressing mental health challenges so that no one has to face such unimaginable loss alone. Please ensure to like, subscribe to the channel, and activate the notification bell to stay updated on all the intriguing cases in the True Crime Stories series. Be the first to discover dramatic and thrilling crime stories.